Hi everyone, hope everyone's doing great today. Just wanna to say thank you to everyone who's helped out by liking and sharing my videos to help recover the Escar Experts YouTube channel since uh, my account was stolen. Um, trending upward, so it's great. I'm about halfway there. So again, I appreciate everyone's help. Thank you to all my subscribers. Today I wanna to talk about the BMW N55 engine with a specific fault code. So on the BMW N55 engine, you can get fault code 101F01 or it's 28A0, which is throttle valve opening angle, absolute pressure, intake pipe comparison, pressure too high. So what's gonna happen when you have that fault? Uh, you're gonna have a check engine light potentially, your engine might not run correctly, you might have a lack of power, and you may get the reduced power message. Now I would highly recommend that you watch this video from beginning to end because there's a lot of nuances with this specific fault code. Please remember to like, subscribe, and to share this with your friends with N55 engines because it's gonna help if you run into this problem. Now this fault can be a simple repair, or it could actually be internal engine problems. Real quick, if you're not sure if you have a BMW N55 engine, one really good way to tell what engine you have is go to a website, www.realoem.com. You can put the last seven of your VIN into that website and it will populate your year, your production date, and what engine you have. And that's really a great way to tell what engine and your vehicle specifics is just using that simple website. The BMW N55 engine is a turbocharged six cylinder engine that was first produced in 2009. It actually replaced the N54 engine and uses a twin scroll turbocharger. Overall, the BMW N55 engine is a pretty solid engine as long as you're taking care of it and you're not doing short distance driving. Short distance driving can cause a lot of havoc on any engine really. I have a video on the dangers of short distance driving and I'm gonna put that up in the corner for you if you'd like to check that out. Now I always try to answer the comments the best that I can. If you need help with your BMW, you can become a member on my channel. Just hit the join tab and then reach out to me via my website, www.askcarexpert.com. Tell me that you're a member, a high octane member, and I can reach out to you directly and help you with your BMW and help you with your DIY project one-on-one -on -one in case you need some extra help. All right, let's get back into this crazy fault code that hopefully you're not having with your car, but if you're here, it's probably because you Googled it and you found the fault code. So let me explain some of the things that are happening with this particular fault code. The 28A0 or 101F01 fault code. Now this fault code can set after you program the car. I don't know if you have programming capabilities at home, but if you're a shop, if you program the car, this fault code can set, or if you've done what's called a battery reset, or even disconnecting the battery, this fault code can set. If that's the case, the first thing you should do before replacing any parts or doing further testing is to do something called an adaptation procedure. So to do an adaptation procedure on the BMW N55, you have to unplug the tank vent valve, also known as the purge valve, and idle the car for about 15 minutes with the tank vent valve unplugged. Why unplug the tank vent valve? Well, we don't want the hydrocarbons from the, from the vapor recovery system to enter the intake manifold and mess up the adaptation values. So you wanna unplug that purge valve, tank vent valve, and idle the car for 15 minutes. Doing this procedure allows your engine computer, also called the DME, to readapt and then you would clear your codes and test drive the car and try to verify that the fault does not come back. I always like to recommend a longer test drive with multiple drive cycles, maybe three times and 20 minutes each test drive. Now that scenario is the best case situation. If you have not done a battery reset or not programmed your vehicle and you have this fault code, there's further steps you're gonna need to do. And we need to figure out what it might be because there's actually quite a few things that this still can be. So another common reason for this fault code is you may have an unmetered air leak. It may be a hidden air leak, which I found on N55s. I have a video on a hidden air leak you're gonna need to know about. I'll put it up in the corner for you if you'd like to check that out. But this is a diagnostic smoke machine from Ansel. This does not require an external compressor. That's why I recommend this. I actually have a video on this as well, how to fully test your intake system using this particular tool and it's great to have at home. So I would recommend this. So you're gonna to wanna to check your intake system for any leaks. Now I know this is not a BMW N55, 
This is my M54 engine, but I'm just gonna use this as a reference. So you're gonna to wanna to smoke test the intake and check for any kind of external leaks. Some other leaks that I found from the video is there's a crossover pipe that goes over to the side of the valve cover. If there's any oil in this cover right here, you'll see in that video, that means you have a micro crack in the reservoir. There's a vacuum reservoir on the side for the vehicles that have the vacuum operated turbo wastegate actuator. You're gonna to wanna to check for oil leaks along the side of the engine because if you have oil leaking out, either it's from a cap, I've actually seen the seal on the cap get weak and oil leaking out. So it could be as simple as a cap that is leaking and if oil can get out, air can get in. So you're gonna just wanna replace the cap in that instance. You wanna look along your crankcase seam. If you see oil filling all in here, if any of those leaks, you may wanna consider replacement of the valve cover. Now, in addition to that, when your engine is running, you have crankcase vacuum that's created. You're gonna to wanna to check your crankcase vacuum. Basically just run the engine crack the cap and to see how much suction you have. It should just have gentle suction. Now I've had these where your PCV inside your valve cover is bad. And what happens is you get a lot of vacuum and the cap is almost impossible, very, very difficult to actually lift up. And you'll hear it sucking like really, really strong. And if you have that problem, the issue actually is the valve cover and you should replace the valve cover to fix that. All right, another often overlooked spot is you have oil filter housing leaks, your belt came off, it does happen, and the belt material can actually get into the front main seal. It can actually damage your front main seal, and you'll have an air leak through the front main seal that you really can't see, and even smoke testing the intake, you don't get smoke from that front main seal because the oil blocks it. So you can smoke test it here, at the oil fill cap, if you drill a hole, put a little vacuum adapter, you can smoke test the engine this way. Sometimes you can see the smoke from here. But if your belt came off, your front main seal may be damaged and that could be the cause of this fault code. And you may even develop some unusual, unusual whistling noises. Now if you hear a whistle noise from your engine and you open your oil fill cap, and you feel the suction and the noise goes away, it doesn't necessarily mean that the front main seal is faulty. It actually means air is being sucked in through the front main seal. And if you've ever blown through a blade of grass, you can make that whistle noise. It's actually the same noise being created through the lip seal of your front main seal. And the noise will go away. You'll hear it whistle and then you crack this open, the noise is gone. You know that your PCV system in your valve cover is faulty. Now I really wish I had too much money so I could have all these BMWs lying around so I can make some great videos for you. Uh, you can help me out by liking, subscribing, and sharing this video. I'm going to be providing a lot of information about a lot of common problems that I've seen. Since I don't have the vehicles, I'm gonna do this as an info series. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this so far. There's a lot more great information on this fault code I'm gonna be providing. All right, here's some really interesting information. If you've programmed the car and done the battery reset and the adaptation procedure and the problem is still there, then this might be caused by your high pressure fuel pump. Now, according to BMW, this only applies to vehicles before April of 2012, and it would have to have the continental fuel. If this is an issue with the high pressure pump, the fault usually occurs again a very short time after starting the car. But this does not happen with the Bosch fuel pump. So you'd have to check to see if you have the Bosch or the Conti fuel pump. But again, I think the production date will help you determine if this problem is with your N55 or not. Now keep in mind, if you did have to replace your high pressure fuel pump, you need to do the adaptation procedure again. Disconnect the purge valve and let the vehicle idle for 15 minutes before clearing the codes, clearing adaptation values, and then taking it for a drive. All right, now we get into it. This also could be from an internal engine problem. Let me explain what might be going on. Now this is way more rare, so I hope this has not happened to you. Usually with vehicles that do not have good maintenance might develop this problem. And you may actually have camshaft bearing wear, and the camshaft is binding and it actually causes this fault. So the only way to check that is first rule everything else out. You wanna make sure that you have no unmetered air leaks in any of the systems. You don't have high crankcase vacuum and you've checked all the steps that I've talked about, done the adaptation procedure. If you've done all that 
and the fault is still coming back, it's time to take the valve cover off and look at each cam journal one at a time. Now you don't have to remove the entire camshaft. The best thing to do is just take off one journal at a time and you're gonna reinstall it at each step as you continue and check each one. If you're actually looking for scoring, discoloration, or anything like that where it would prove that the camshaft is binding. Now if the camshaft bearing does have wear on it and it looks like it is excessive, you're going to need to replace the cylinder head. Or in that case, you wanna to check to see if your oil has any metal filings in it. If you do see metal filings, you may be, it may be better to consider replacement of the engine, especially if you have higher mileage on your N55 engine. So let me just talk to you about some of the strange things I've seen with N55. I may have mentioned in other videos, but I just find it interesting. I had one car come in and uh, basically the engine was seized. It was a really cold day. The customer had said that they started their car, it ran, it started rattling, and then the car shut off. And we got in into the shop and we already knew we had to drop the oil pan. We dropped the oil pan down. I found perfectly symmetrical balls of ice and that's from short distance driving so what happened is they rolled and froze these ice balls they got into the oil pickup and actually starved the engine of oil and caused a failure and that's the dangers of short distance driving and moisture building up in your engine it actually caused this engine to fail pretty crazy I've also seen connecting rod bearing failure and usually you find that you have an engine knock potentially um, that does happen on N55, so that would be replacement engine at that point. Whenever you're doing an oil change, check your oil filter. You want to look for excessive metal. You're looking for aluminum, tiny pieces of aluminum, or you may even see copper. Now, if you see copper, it's time to either replace your engine or replace your crank bearings because it's on its way out. And I do know that some people out there actually replace the crank bearings as a preventative measure, just like the E46 M3, because you can save your engine by replacing those bearings before you have a big failure. I hope everyone found this helpful. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Help me to grow my Asticar Experts YouTube channel and help me recover from my stolen hacked account. If you like to hear about what happened where my account was actually stolen from a hacker it took about a week to recover the account with the help of team youtube i'll put a video up there for you guys if you want to take a look at that and again thank you to all my subscribers i have a lot more videos to come on information and how to fix things and weird problems that i've seen weird fault codes that you may come across again i have more information than i have cars to actually work on and it's cold it's cold in the garage today but I need to start moving around and warm up a little bit. I'm gonna be getting to this M54 engine repair as soon as it warms up a tiny bit. And I have a lot more diagnostic and interesting videos to come. So make sure to like and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you everyone.